Today I'm going to make this video slightly different from the other videos, previous videos that I've made. Uh, this is going to be a voiceover uh, because um, I've made this video initially for my uh, friends uh, over uh, in Bordeaux in France. So I'm just uh, dubbing this video here. Um, so um, I'm just showing here the diagram of the auto generator version two of uh, Mr. Richard Vial. Um, the length of the copper bars are one meter. So you can see there's two copper bars. They are separated by a piece of plastic or a piece of tape. Um, so there are two copper bars and they are not uh, electrically connected. Um, so we've got two big copper bars um, on each side and uh, this um, forms a U shape um, and that's why we call this the U generator version 2. Um, the yellow wires that I've just pointed out, uh, the yellow wires are represented by a green uh, marking on um, the diagram here. So this is the function generator sine wave, it, this is the input, uh, it goes to the lamp um, and then goes uh, through the yellow wires, um, yellow wires you can see there, uh, it goes all the way around and then after that it goes back to the function generator. So we've got, uh, my setup is a 25 volt pick to pick sine wave, 4.2 megahertz, uh, those are the details. Uh, this is what I'm I'm using currently for this setup. Uh, so um, this is just the uh, um, an advanced version or version two of the uh, auto generator. Um, then I'm going to show you the the output. So the output we've got the two copper bars they are here, and we've got some bolts connected to the end of the copper bars. Um, one goes to this black wire, which is a short circuit wire. It goes through uh, a, a variable capacitor to um, uh, to uh, tune the capacitance uh, and then an inductor, um, which has a piece of ferrite in there. Um, and then it goes back to the, 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 the brass bolt, which is connected to the, the big copper pipe. Then, um, also in parallel, we've got um, a lamp, uh, a small 330 mica picofarad capacitor and the earth ground. Um, so that's that's the output uh, of the system here. So there's the output here. And that's the input. Okay, so just a quick disclaimer: uh, by watching or using this information, by watching this video or using this information, you agree that you're not allowed to file any patents on this device or technology. So let me show you the uh, input. Uh, we're gonna. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to measure the current uh, this time um, on this device. So uh, this is my function generator. I've got here is a current transformer, an AC current transformer. I have 10 turns uh, wound around this uh, ferrite core. And we've got the primary wire, which is the, one of the lead of my function generator, which it goes through the uh, current transformer and uh, we're going to measure the current uh, using this current transformer. Across the legs of the current transformer, I've got a one ohm resistor, so one ohm uh, carbon resistor, uh, which is across the legs of the uh, AC transformer, and my oscilloscope probe is connected uh, on each side. So I've got the negative and I've got the probe connected to the current transformer. Um, and I'll show you here um, the current. So we can see that the volt RMS uh, is around four, four millivolt. Uh, so to calculate the current, we 
multiply 4 millivolt by 1, which is the resistance, which is 1 ohm, so that's 4 milliamp. So the current that uh, is coming out, uh, the volt RMS, or the current RMS is 4 milliamp, and then the current peak-to-peak -peak is 13 milliamp. You can see here, uh, and you can see in the background the, the, the wave is a sine wave. Um, so uh, here, just to show you that the lamp uh, is uh, uh, not lit, it is it is off. Um, however, we we still do have voltage and current going through uh, um, the system here, uh, but it's just at this specific frequency here. Um, and the way I tune the system, you can see that the input lamp is is uh, not lit um, at all. And it helps me, it just gives me a, a visual cue and indication on, on what's going on. Um, so here um, um, we've got the black lead and you can see the alligator clips are connected to the actual copper pipe whilst the yellow wire is wound on top of this. Um, the yellow wire is actually um, uh, two parallel um, wires that are wound to reduce the um, impedance uh, because uh, we've got high frequency so I'm trying to lower the impedance of the system so that's why I've got um, two yellow wires in parallel and then wound all around uh, so uh, I'm just gonna show you the the output side of of the circuit um, and um, I'm gonna show you the the black lead here is um, actually um, connected to the copper pipe. Um, the black lead is the uh, black and red lead, I should say, is really the short circuit w wire. So this black lead is going to uh, the capacitor, which is a 330 variable uh, capacitor here, um, and um, which is uh, then um, uh, going um, on the output of this capacitor here. So we've got the blue here, the blue wire is the output of the capacitor, which is then connected to this inductor. Um, and it's just a, a, a plastic uh, plastic printed tube. And I've got a, a ferrite rod inside, 8 milli uh, by 100 milli um, ferrite rod, rod. And then the wire goes back to the uh, copper uh, copper pipe, uh, which is the alligator clip here connected to a, a, a brass bolt. Um, so uh, that's this part of the circuit I've just showed you. Now we're going to look at the lamp, which is connected in parallel. Um, so uh, I'm going to uh, put my current AC transformer to read to measure the current on that side of the system at the start. So we're just going to look at the the yellow wire now. We've we've uh, we've had a look at the red and black wire. So the yellow wire is indeed connected to the lamp, uh, and in 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 parallel we've got a capacitor, and then the yellow uh, wire here um, is uh, going back to the copper pipe, which is the alligator clip here connected to a brass bolt. Um, and then right before, uh, right after the lamp, we've got this uh, blue uh, wire. And this blue wire is my um, earth, uh, earth uh, ground rods. So I've, I've actually got two earth ground rods um, 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 buried in my backyard. And on uh, each side of my garden, I've got two, um, two uh, copper copper rods which are buried in the ground. So here I'm just um, uh, just disconnecting this uh, AC current transformer. Um, so uh, we're, go we're going to reconnect it uh, now on the output, just to give you an idea of the current measurements. Uh, so um, what I'm going to do is just disconnect the uh, one of the lead of the, the lamp, uh, this yellow wire here, I'm going to disconnect it. And then I'm going to feed that yellow wire through this AC current transformer and we're going to read the current measurements on uh, the side of the lamp. So I'm just reconnecting the wire here back in um, and just adjusting the position here of the transformer so it's um, fairly um, perpendicular to the wire. 
Um, so um, my oscilloscope probe is still connected and the, the ground clip is connected also to each of the legs of the AC transformer with the one ohm resistor connected in parallel. Um, so I'm going to read the um, oscilloscope. What I'm going to do is just do a quick reset on the oscilloscope screen here, just to make sure that uh, we're not getting any uh, false information here. So this is the reset here that I've just done. Uh, we can see that the volt RMS is now at 9.4 uh, millivolt, which is uh, 9.4 milliamp. Uh, so you'll have to um, pause the video and have a look at the, the scope shot. But essentially, uh, we are getting more uh, current out uh, than current in, um, which is uh, 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 this effect we, we're getting, which is the cold current. Uh, uh, as um, uh, uh, Wilbur Smith said, um, uh, cold energy multiplies and hot energy divides. And we can see here uh, that we are getting uh, an increase in, in current on the output. Uh, bear in mind the measurements of, there are uh, calculation errors, uh, but this is a quick video to show you um, uh, the auto generator.